So, this is it, huh? I hope I don't get lost. Can you all hear me? Whoa, is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Wait, y you mean you can see inside here? It's my persona's ability. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. That's why outside support is imperative. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Practice makes perfect. Right! Got it. She always liked that. Takeda has informed me about your power, but nevertheless, you have minimal combat experience. Would you like me to explain the basics of battle? The primary offensive options available to you in battle are attack and skill. Attack corresponds to the weapon you've equipped, while skill relates to your persona's abilities. Though skills consume either stamina or spiritual power, they tend to have a greater effect. Use whichever option best suits the situation. Keep attacking until you've defeated the enemy, but pay careful attention to your stamina. That's it for now. Did you get all that? Okay, then I want you to defeat the enemy before you. Try using both the skill and attack options. Roger. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. You exploited the enemy's weakness. Here's a chance. Let's get him. Get back here, son. A complete victory. Great job. Good time for me to explain about attack properties, which are important to consider during battle. Do you want to know more? Nearly every type of attack is associated with a particular property. For example, swords can be used to do slash attacks, while bows are used to do pierce attacks. Skills, on the other hand, have different properties. Bufu, for instance, indicates an ice attack. Now most enemies are vulnerable to certain types of attacks. In other words, they have weaknesses. A fire skill will deal greater damage to an enemy that's weak against fire. With my power, I can analyze an enemy to determine its weaknesses and strengths. That falls under tactics. Do you follow? The enemies you're facing have a weakness that you can exploit. Why don't you give it a try? Roger! I'll attempt to end like the enemy! Attack again! Get him! Yes! The enemy is vulnerable! Attack! Here's a chance! Let's get him! Get back here, you son of a a complete victory! Great job! Were you 
able to exploit the enemy's weakness in the last battle. If you didn't already notice, doing so will also grant you an additional attack. Would you like more details? An enemy will lose its balance if you exploit its weakness or land a critical hit. This will give you the opportunity to perform an additional action. In other words, you'll get to do one more thing. You can keep attacking the same enemy, or if you prefer, attack a different target. And if you succeed in knocking another enemy off balance, then you can act yet again. Which means, you can remain on the offensive for as long as you can keep this up. This strategy is essential to securing victory. However, remember this. An enemy that's already lost its balance cannot be knocked off balance again. You can't knock down someone who's lying on the ground, right? It's the same idea. Now, to knock an enemy off balance, you need to know its weaknesses. So don't hesitate to ask me for an analysis. I'll be sure to share the results with the others as well. Got it? Then proceed with the battle. Use what you've learned to quickly dispose of the enemy. Roger, I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. You struck the enemy's weak point. Awesome. Orpheus! Attack again! One more! Attack again! Here's our chance for an all-out attack! Let me out of Keep up the good work! 